What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't made any videos in a long time. It's almost been almost a year, but here we are. We got a lot of things to catch up on. Uh, we're gonna find out exactly what happened last in 2021. Uh, going into this new year, 2022, see what we got new coming to the channel uh, and see what all happened in the past that uh, there were some good things and there's been some bad things. Um, sorry I haven't actually been able to be on the channel for a long time, but I really wish I could have done a lot more in 2021, but 2022 is going to be a better year and a lot more content is coming. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this ride. So starting off, uh, there's a lot of things that have happened in 2021 that I would like to discuss. Um... The reason why you haven't seen me post any videos here recently is because uh, my dad passed away in July. Same time in July, uh, I got married. I met the love of my life uh, and we are now having a child together. And I'm looking forward to the new chapter in my life uh, with my child coming. Uh, I have my previous child, Haley. She's very excited for me to have a new kid. Um, she's ready to have a sibling, so I can't wait for her to actually experience this. We're hoping for a boy, uh, just for the simple fact that we, we're, we're all about cars, uh, regardless if it's my wife or if it's me, or even if it's my daughter Haley. She, she loves cars just as much as I do. So we're gonna go through, um, talk about some of the things uh, my dad passed away uh, three weeks after my wedding. So when my wedding happened, I was excited. I really was pumped. We went to Disney World beforehand. Uh, we had everything planned, ready to go. We had a car themed wedding, uh, which I'll be posting a video of my, uh, my wedding soon. Uh, this way everybody can see exactly how that turned out. Uh, I loved how my wife enjoyed the simple fact that I could actually plan something for my wedding uh, being car themed. She's wanting to do a secondary wedding in California, which we're going to do in California uh, with her family uh, sometime this year. So we're, we got a lot of things coming up and a lot of things going on. So we, we three weeks after uh, uh, our wedding, my dad passed away. Uh, I was very emotional about that. And that's the reason why you haven't seen me post any videos because I've been very, very down in the dumps, depressed, and I didn't know how to actually get out of my funk and say, hey, I need to get back to doing these videos. So I'm jumping right into it, trying to figure out exactly what I need to do this year so we can actually get the channel moving forward and so that you can understand how I'm feeling and how I'm wanting to express this. With that being said, uh, I have everything here uh, at my shop and currently going through a lot of uh, restoration. I own everything here to include uh, the trailer that we were renting out. I'm now remodeling that trailer so that me and my wife can move into it uh, soon to be after I retire. And then uh, going forward, uh, I got tired of actually living in an apartment. Uh, I have a brand new uh, dog. He's a, a giant Alaskan Malamute. And most of the time, apartment complexes, they don't like that. Well, my apartment complex ended up kicking me out. I ended up having to pay a fine and everything like that because my dog, it just got to the point where I was like, I'm, t I'm sick and tired of having an apartment. So two years from retirement, uh, I bought a 36 foot camper, uh, which I was post a picture right up here so that you can see it. But this 36 foot camper is gonna end up helping us move forward when we wanna go into trips later on uh, throughout either end of this year, going on to next year. And even when I retire, we're gonna start doing trips around the world. So this is just gonna help out with that. I also ended up buying a new truck. Um, I know that everybody loved Ace uh, on the channel but Ace was just a little bit too small and some of the problems with the uh, 2019, 2020, 2021 Chevy Silverado trucks, I don't feel like dealing with that problem uh, with the water pumps and all the electrical issues. 
I just, I can't do it. I love Chevy to death, but Chevy messed up when they made these trucks. They're not worth having. Sorry, that's just my opinion. So I ended up going uh, with a 07 Dodge 3500 Cummings diesel, the 6.7, which uh, you'll get to see more about because I've done a lot to it since I've had it. I just don't feel like, I didn't feel like posting anything or publishing anything on the truck. So there has been a lot of stuff that has just changed and you'll see it whenever we actually start working on most of these vehicles. Um, right now I own uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I own eight vehicles right now. And maintaining eight vehicles is, is crazy. I, can't, I cannot stress enough how hard it is to maintain all these vehicles at one time. And I don't even have the subscriber base right now uh, for me to even have most of these vehicles. But like I said, I love cars and I wanna share, share that with you and be able to let you understand exactly how I feel about them. I still have Michelle, I still have Veronica, uh, my M3 and my in my CTSV. Uh, I obviously have that um, that Dodge truck that we just talked about. We have two new vehicles that I said last year. Hey, we're gonna end up putting two new vehicles on the channel, which we started out with the '71 Beetle Corona. Uh, we put that one on the channel right now. Currently, it is still being worked on. There is a lot of little things here and there that I'm trying to get with Corona so that it is a perfect vehicle for my wife to drive around and it's a very good gas saver. Going through, uh, still have, uh, my mom still has her car, the, the Impala. Uh, we have the 95 Chevy truck uh, that my dad had. Uh, he's passed on to me, uh, which my mom uses it frequently. That's, I, it's her vehicle, it's what she wants to do with it, but I, I Told her I wanted to keep the vehicle, so she's let me have it, and she's just using it and borrowing it and everything like that. I'm turning that truck into the the truck to flip over and do exactly what my dad would have done to that truck, and I'm keeping it as sentimental value truck. So I'm sorry if most people, everybody's wanting wanting that truck right now, and I'm like, I can't sell it. That is that is 100% the truck that I cannot sell. The van, I ended up selling the van uh, middle of the year. I was very heartbroken about that van being sold, but there was nothing I was gonna do with it uh, in order for me to move forward in this channel, nor did it seek the need, suit the needs that we needed as a family. So the other vehicle I'm not gonna disclose, uh, it is currently right here in front of me. You are sitting on top of it. It's the shop bench but however I know my wife I, my wife jokes about that all the time that I, I put stuff on this on her car and yeah I'm sorry babe uh, I will be taking all of the stuff off the car she will be moving here shortly hopefully the army allows her to to move to my location uh, we've been having issues with that trying to get the army to understand that we're both military so getting two military people together is very, very difficult. I don't understand why, but that's neither here nor there. That's not my problem to put out there like that. But I, I want everybody to understand that things are moving forward in this channel. So going through, nothing has really changed inside the shop. Uh, I've put up a few flags, banners. We did my dad's celebration of life in here inside of the shop because this is his spot that he loved to be at. And this is my spot that I'm loving to be at even more and more every time I'm, I'm stepping in here. So with that being said, I'm, I, I really wanted to put this video out there to make sure that everybody understood that I didn't blow anybody off. I'm sorry that if, if you felt that way, I'm sorry for my subscribers that I have currently um, that I haven't put out any new content, but I'm pretty sure everybody would understand and, and see the situation that I'm, I'm put in right now. Uh, that it's hard. But with that being said, 2022 is going to be a great year. We're going to push forward. We're going to actually get done. We're going to go do traveling trips. Uh, I'm planning on trying to do more and more car content, more and more 
uh, vehicle content. This way you can have fun with it. And this way that the information that I put out is pretty accurate and able to uh, come across. So stay tuned. We're going to continue to keep pushing it. And I really appreciate everybody tuning in and actually listening to what I have to say. Please comment down below uh, what you want to see most of this year for us to actually push forward and continue to keep push and get done. Whether you want the Cadillac CTSV, you want the BMW M3, uh, if you want the 07 Dodge, uh, if you want my mom's Impala. Hey, some people actually want some of that content that, hey, how do you work on this and this on an Impala? Uh, my, my dad's 95 Chevy truck, or if, if you want to see any of the remodeling videos that we have of my house or even the camper that I got remodeling as well for us to actually start traveling with. And you'll also get to see some of my dogs that I, uh, I got kicked out of my apartment for. So hopefully we, uh, we can go forward with that, but I really appreciate it. Stay tuned and continue to keep, uh, getting more and more on this channel. Like, and subscribe. And please, let's get to 2022. Let's get more subscribers this year. This way we can continue to make more content. Thanks. I'm out.